Hello, everybody coming at you with all my might. It is Smite. How are you guys doing today? As you can see, we got some snow on the ground. Not near as much as we had the first time because it rained and it basically killed all the snow. I'm not complaining about that. <laughs> but we did actually have 20 inches like overnight in my area of Pennsylvania. It took them like four days to get the roads cleaned up around my house and then it rained and it just annihilated all the remainder of the snow. But that's okay. So I want to tell you, 2020 has been an, honestly an amazing year for me. Uh, we got to get out and do some riding. I did a couple little events with my uh, local group. Not nearly as much as I would like to since the Dirty Dabby Works got canceled due to uh, the restrictions. But I'm hoping 2021 they'll have everything worked out so we'll be able to do the dual sport event and do that. But I should be becoming a, a career employee so that I'll actually have Sundays off. And then I'll tell you what, for the last three years, it's been quite a challenge trying to meet up with people when you don't have an established day off that normal people have off. You know, I would always have off like a Tuesday or a Thursday. So it was actually really hard to actually meet up with people. And I've been doing this for the last three years. So I'm really excited about that. Um, we do have a couple downed bikes in my group well maybe not a couple but my one buddy he just found out like I guess his his KLR 650 his timing chain skipped a tooth and it came the piston came up and bent one of the valves and he just has a whole mess of stuff stuff wrong with his bike so he's currently out we're gonna see what he's gonna do about that whether he's just gonna find a new bike or fix it I don't know about fixing it I guess the guy that quoted him said around like $2,700 which is crazy for a KLR considering you could buy a whole new bike for $2,700 but I'm really looking forward to doing some more dual sport in this year with uh and like I said actually being able to set up more events and make it where I'm having a day that more people can make it to and I'm also excited because my dad, he has a Ducati Multistrada. He, he liked it because it's a, it's a lovely bike. It's a lovely, uh, uh, I would call it a touring bike, uh, super sport touring, so to speak. But he got it mostly because it's a nice bike and my mom, it is a nice back seat for there. But as of lately, my mom, it hurts her hips too much to be riding all the time so he's like you know what maybe i'll get a different bike and he guess what he talked about getting an adventure bike so it's always cool when you can get more people to ride and even so leading into having more time off and <laughs> so i'm like super stoked for the 2021 to get out and actually put some more miles on this bike i think i only did like two thousand two to three thousand miles in 2020 which is crazy low for me honestly i mean considering i was just doing like literally uh, 10 to 15 thousand a year so it's been a minimal riding season for me so my dad was talking about getting an africa twin which i really like the africa twins i actually was one of the first dual sport adventure bikes i've ever rode was the africa twin now I say dual sport adventure as in, you know, a big bike. So he's talking about getting one of those with a DCT, which would be pretty cool because, you know, it's, I mean, I have a recluse in this, so it's almost the same principle, but I think a DCT would work out better because you literally put in drive and just go. So we'll see how that works out, if he can get his bike sold or if he actually ever does it. But uh, <laughs> I'm hopeful because I mean, we did a lot of riding together too, so. And then another thing this year is that I did get my other bike. I got my Zero SRF. So I, I put uh, like 600 miles on that, which I got that near the really end of the year and that's mostly for commuting. But I wanna thank you so much for hanging around through the year. It seemed like it was here and then gone. <laughs> it all happened so fast. I mean, I didn't stop working through the entire thing and then it just the volume of uh, packages and mail skyrocketed so that's all I was doing 
with everybody at home just ordering stuff online rather than going out <laughs> Uh, this whole this whole entire year is just a blur to me. I don't remember what day it was. I was just out there delivering so much. Our package volume has went up like I don't know 50 percent. It's either third. It's in between 30 or 50 percent. I think it went 50 percent. But the previous year it was up 20 percent. So it it climbed quite a bit having not. I'm having people more do e-commerce and stuff like that. So, been putting in some crazy hours. That's how I manage to do what I do. Look forward to some more dual sport adventure videos in 2021. I hope you all had a survivable year, and let's hope 2021 is a lot better. <laughs> oh man! So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time. Have a nice day, and God bless.